Oh, OK. I was just wondering. So the right-hand approximation is, again, we have our f of 1 fourth is representing our height. But now we're going to start from the right-hand side. And here, let's do a different color. So instead of using the left endpoint, which would be starting at 0, now we're going to use the right-hand endpoint. Go down. down. Okay. Now, obviously, you guys can see that um, that is going to be an overestimate, right? But let's go ahead and calculate what this is. Now, can we use our general rule that since we have a uniform, um, since we have a uniform uh, ba uh, base, like the, dip, the delta x is the same, we can just already factor that out as 1 fourth, right? Yes, so I can just kind of shorthand this. 1 fourth times, uh, now we're going to do f of 1 fourth plus f of 1 half plus f of 3 fourths plus f of 1. Okay. Now, it's important when you guys are doing like an FRQ, they're going to ask you for, like they're going to want to see the method. Like what method are you using? So it's important that you are explaining or showing at least this method. Now, we could also show this numerically. Right, going this step. Now I'm just doing this as an extra step, but we could also approximate this as 1 fourth times f of 1 fourth, which is f of 1 fourth squared, which is 1 16th, 1 half, which would be 1 fourth, 3 fourths, which is 9 sixteenths, and then plus 1. So there, right there, is you showing your method. And if you guys remember looking at like the scoring guidelines, they want to see like your work, your method, like how are you arriving at your answer. Right? Usually the answer is like a separate answer. And then the use of method is another, pro is another point. This shows you your use of your method. Right? This is showing you what you're doing. So you can see that you're approximating it. And we have four subintervals. Now, now we just need to calculate this. So again, let's just write them in terms of sixteenths. And let's see, we have 5, um, 14, no, 25, 29, 30. 1 fourth, and let's do, so that's going to be what, 30 over 16? And then we could divide again by 2, so that would be 15, 30 seconds. Yes? No? Bueller. Anybody else verify? I don't know. Yep, 15, 30 seconds. And again, since we're doing the right hand method, the graph hasn't changed. It's still concave up and increasing. But now we can see that we're doing an overhead, or we're doing a, um, an overestimate. Correct? Yes? OK. So when you guys are seeing this, it will explicitly say, or at least in your work next class period that I'm going to give.